Well, he's taken us back to the past to play some shitty games at Suck Ass. And now he's doing so on the big screen, kind of, in the Angry Video Game Nerd movie. Now, we're going to start off this by saying I am one of the biggest fans of um, Angry Video Game Nerd, aka AVGN. Uh, I remember the first time I ever watched a video, I remember I was, well, I was, I was uh, in, in, just at home, I was uh, watching my brother on his computer, and he was watching a video which was Angry Video Game Nerd Movie Reviews Michael Jackson's Moonwalker, and I was absolutely, well, I won't say gripped, but absolutely um, that hooked to this thing the second I saw it. I remember I was laughing my ass off just listening to this guy just rip into this game. And um, obviously, you probably may know that Angry Video Game Nerd is actually a character played by a very talented filmmaker named James Rolfe. And this is a somewhat labour of love for him. I remember when he first announced it, I was like, really? They're making an AVG movie? That's going to be interesting. And that was about two and a half years ago now, and he's been updating the film as it goes along, which I've been really, really enjoying, kind of like little kind of vlog things. And it's finally here, you know? Um, obviously, in the, it's going to have more kind of traction in the US because it did have some um, uh, theatrical, uh, theatrical run in certain cinemas. Obviously, it's not going to do anything like that in the UK. I mean, I, I doubt it's going to be granted a BBFC certificate. But that's not what it's about, you know. It's about it's about it's about fans. I know it was kind of it was um, kind of kickstarted. Well, you know, kind of kickstarted by his own money, but then it was um, backed by Kickstarter backers, uh, which uh, yeah, Kickstarter. If it if it if it makes things like an AVGN movie happen, it's going to be a good thing. Like I said, I'm a really big fan of the videos, and how does it translate to the big uh, screen? Pretty damn good, actually. Um, the plot is very simple. Basically, a AVGN has has um, become kind of very famous, and everyone wants, what everyone wants him to review what, what is considered one of the worst films, uh, sorry, worst games of all time, uh, ET, on the Atari Twenty Six Hundred, and he refuses to do it. He doesn't want to review it for various reasons, and basically he. That him in real life um, works in a um, video game store with his friend Cooper, who is kind of the the guy who film who helps film his AVG, AVGN videos. And basically, he finds out about a conspiracy which um, says that uh, that the Atari game was kind of recalled when it was uh, it kind of recalled from stores and and uh, put into this landfill in a New Mexico, and kind of like like filled in just so nobody nobody had to play the game. Kind of thing, and he goes to, um, with his friend Cooper and this uh, woman who I can't remember the name of, who is a, who is there. Basically, they're bringing out a sequel to the sequel to the game, and they think that it's going to be like really rubbish, and they think that him reviewing it is going to make it make it kind of like really better, not only better, but kind of like people look at, um, kind of know, uh, ref people will know about it, and uh, basically, she got a, um, kind of. Uh, well, kind of makes friends with him in the guise of a just uh, just a really big fan, but he's really like a um, kind of network, uh, not network, uh, kind of business executive trying to get him to review this game. And basically, he goes on a trip to New Mexico to basically try and de debunk this myth. He doesn't think it's real, and basically, it's him kind of travelling to, I say, New Mexico and trying to find this landfill. And just trying to kind of like tell people that this isn't real, this is a conspiracy, there's nothing, it's all rubbish. And that's basically the film, you know, you got your film. And uh, yeah, it's not going to win any awards. I mean, it's very well made for the budget, I'll say that. It's very, I won't say low budget, but it has that low budget feel, which I'm a big fan of. And to be quite honest, it is better than some of the straight to DVD uh, films you get, especially in the UK. That's some, some real dreck coming straight to DVD. But he's, he's better made than that, you know. I mean, he is, he is a filmmaker at heart. He's not he's not just a gamer. He's a gamer. Um, James Rolfe is. Um, he I mean, when, when he was younger, he was a big gamer, and he still is. But uh, his, his real passion is filmmaking, and uh, he really comes through in this film. You know, I mean, there are some shots that um, some well not the CGI, but some of the kind of the editing is a bit choppy. Like there's uh, some scenes where you can totally we can obviously tell it's like a green screen. Um, but yeah, that adds to its charm, you know. And of course, there's uh, other scenes in it which uh, which look kind of crappy for a reason. It's kind of to get more comedy out of it. Like there's a, I'm not going to give any spoilers away, obviously, but there's like a scene where um, where it kind of changes shot to like where it's like really obviously like miniature toy cars, kind of uh, 
uh, driving through like uh, really really fake looking sets and stuff, which is really again adds to the uh, adds to the re adds to the real charm of the film. Um, yeah, the character of um, of the character of AVGN, everyone knows. And if you don't know who he is, get on it, watch watch his videos. Um, do it now. <laughs> and basically, um, yeah, the, the character of Coop has this kind of like, um, remember I read the uh, Blu-ray.com review with this and it said he has kind of like a Disney Channel kind of, well, earnestness, which I'm, I don't really see, but uh, like, like, get, like that kind of like Disney Channel persona kind of thing, where it's just like a kind of a lovable rogue, if you like. Um, yeah, and there aren't um, any kind of like, be like massive, massive name actors in this, but there is a few, a few cameos, uh, one which I'll get to a little bit later, and uh, and uh, yeah, uh, yeah. The one other thing is the character of this woman who this kind of business executive. To be honest, if you'd taken her out of the film, it wouldn't have made it different. I mean, she wasn't really needed. Um, I just think that if she, they, if they took her out of the film and kind of every. Um, in every scene she was in out of the film, it wouldn't make it a better, it wouldn't make it a worse film, but it certainly, no, it wouldn't make it a better film, but it certainly wouldn't make it a worse film. She wasn't really needed, to be quite honest. I mean, the the film is quite hefty. It clocks in at just under two hours. It's about, no, just, just under an hour and 55 minutes, which is a bit long. And I said, if she, if they kind of cut, like, cut her out of the movie, it wouldn't really have detracted from the film, uh, from the film at all. But yeah, like I said, the, the special effects and the CGI, what have you, are very, very good. There's a lot of good kind of I don't animatronic stuff, but really good, um, just special effects. You know, there's a really, uh, really strange special effect with uh, an alien towards the end of the film, which is like kind of based on the um, based on the character of ET from the game, which is really, really, really strange, <laughs> really, really strange, but very, very, very funny. There's also a uh, a uh, joke invo uh, involving a retinal scanner, which is probably one of my fa probably my favourite joke of the uh, of the film. And there's that that also that um, well, I don't kind of know what comedy you call it as, where you, um, it kind of sounds like people are having sex, but they're actually doing something else, which is a really funny scene again in the film. And uh, yeah, it just really made me laugh. It was, I really really enjoyed it. I enjoyed it more than I thought I would do. I would definitely watch it again. Um, and uh, yeah, that's basically about it really um but yeah like i say check it out um i uh, rented it from vimeo on demand which you can i'll put a link down below to where you can watch the film uh it was about five dollars uh so which is about three three pound fifty i think or something like that uh but yeah definitely worth the money like i say i'm a massive fan of james Rolfe. i haven't watched many of his like um his regular short films but i might i might actually do to see kind of how his uh, filmmaking has progressed and it's, it looks really good. It's like HD. It's HD quality. You really, um, you you know where the money's going. I'll say that. But it's it's really it's a, a really fun time. Uh, I wish it did kind of like have some kind of theatrical release in the UK, which I very much doubt it will do. But it'd be cool if it did. But I don't think it will do. And there's also a DVD of it coming in. Uh, I think November, December. But yeah, like I say, definitely give it a go if you're a fan of. It's definitely the best web series I've ever seen, and the, and the chat. I mean, there's not many or any kind of, um, kind of internet internet movie. Well, internet short film stars that could that have the power to make their own movie. I mean, he made a fucking movie out of this. Just this this small kind of uh, these small videos of this guy just ripping the shit into games that are really really rubbish from his childhood. You'll let you you kind of you wouldn't really guess that that would make a movie, but again, they made a fucking movie out of this video. It's it still boggles my mind to this day. Like I say, it's very uh, fan push. Like I say, it's uh, uh, Kickstarter backed, uh, which is like I say, it's a good a good way of doing it. Um, uh, but yeah, uh, like I say, I'd say definitely give it a go um, if you're a fan of. Well, obviously, if you're a fan of Baby Jane, you probably watched it already. But uh, maybe some people might know it's might not know it's actually available to watch. Uh, to be honest, I didn't actually know. I was just looking on um, Facebook and, um, and and Luke posted um, the fact that he was downloading it, and uh, I thought, yeah, definitely get on that. I thought it was only five five dollars, which I think again was I think about three pound fifty. So I thought, why the hell not? You can get it for twenty four hours. I believe you can actually buy it as well, but I just rented it. And uh, also, I will just say this right. 
what two films this year can say that they featured a Lloyd Kaufman cameo? One, ABGN the movie. Two, Guardians of the Galaxy. That's all I'll say. So yeah, like I say, I'll put a link down below so you can watch the film. Definitely give it a go. It's been getting pretty good reviews, kind of uh, sevens and eight, six, sixes, sevens and eights, and um, or at least from the reviews I saw. I know a few on Letterboxd were not as favourable, but uh, yeah, that'll about do for this review. So, uh, well, I've, I've definitely made you watch it now. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching as always, and have a great day.